The result was the AT&T Unix PC, launched in 1985 as the model 7300. With its slanted form factor, Motorola 68010 processor, Way overlay, and Unix system V core, it was a unique offering. But the execution fell short. The GUI was clunky. The mouse was inaccurate. The applications were limited and sluggish. The system could dial out using a connected phone and record calls, features impressive on paper, but of limited value without productivity tools to match. The spreadsheet bundled with the system, SuperComp 20, was notoriously slow, taking over 10 minutes to process a 3000 cell document. For comparison, Lotus 123 could handle far larger spreadsheets in mere seconds on IBM hardware. And the word processor was no better. It was based on Wang's Wangwriter terminal software and limited in display and functionality. The graphical shell, while novel, lacked polish and intuition. Menu buttons were placed too close to destructive commands like, shutdown. As for software? The situation was grim. At launch, the Unix PC had fewer than 30 applications. IBM PCs running DOS had over 10,000. And that disparity was widening by the day.